The happy ending to a story we brought to you last night. A woman is reunited with her sister's stolen ashes, but her quest isn't over just yet. Uh, Brenda Lee Gonzalez is live here in the studio with the next item on her list to find. Brenda. That's right. We did tell you last night about the teen who found the missing ashes, and because of him, this woman has her sister back, but she's found out there's still a missing piece to the story. Tanya Thomas picks up the pace as she heads inside to be reunited with her sister, who's been missing since Sunday. She was fun loving, very sweet. She holds on extra tight to the box that holds the remains of her sister, Tina Manning. This is my sister, what's left of my sister, my only sister. Inside this box are her sister's ashes. The urn that held the ashes is still missing. Oh, I was mad. The only identifying mark is her name printed on the outside of the box. Losing her sister was tough once enough, but she relived that moment when her mom told her someone broke in and stole the ashes. She said, but there's no way we're going to get them back. And I thought, well, I have to try. Thank you. Elijah Farley was on the same mission. He found the ashes left on a driveway two blocks from the home. I mean, just as important as if someone would have found my grandpa on the sidewalk and did the same thing. He only knew they belonged to someone by the name printed on the box. Today, he put a face to the name. But this story isn't over yet, at least not for Thomas. We feel that there's injustice because they took the urn. And if they would give us the arm back, we'd be more happy. And Thomas is making sure to keep a close watch on this box until she finds a proper place to store the ashes. Reporting live in the studio, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, 41 Action News.